How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. And it is IPA time in the form of the Hop Concepts uh, Lemon Grassy. Um, been really excited to give one of these a whirl um, for the absolute most superficial reason of all time, but it's the labeling. Um, you know, this is a Lost Abbey product, or Port Brewing, whatever you want to call it. Port Brewing and Lost Abbey are the same brewery. They're two separate breweries. They're not like subdivisions of each brewery, but they're two separate breweries owned by the same people in the same place. I know, kind of weird. And uh, this is another one of their kind of splinter ventures within there. They kind of separate their brewing styles via different brewery names. Um, and uh, I like their products. They make really nice beers. And I was really excited to see what their idea of a hop forward beer would be but here's the thing this label is so it's how do i put it this is the kind of label that i love because for two reasons one it's done really really fucking well and two when you look at it you're like how the fuck has this not been done before because it just makes so much fucking sense you know what i mean the old air fresheners that you had in your car it just makes so much fucking sense from an art standpoint. It just the second I saw the first uh, bottle come up on the internet, I was like, oh my god! I was like, that's just it's so simple. It's fucking genius. So anyway, as far as what it says on this awesome bottle, it says the Hop Concept Hop Freshener Series uh, India Pale Ale brewed with lemon zest, lemon and grassy, 8.5 percent alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by the Hop Concept, San Marcos, California. Um, flavors that right on the nose. Our Hot Freshener Series um, simplifies your choice of which beer to enjoy right now. Just read the name and you'll know exactly what to expect. After all, those dank and piney notes you enjoy so much, that's really just your nose doing its job and proof you should trust your senses. Each season, we release a limited edition using different aromatic and flavorful hop combinations to bring out a specific character. Uh, four IPAs, each available just once a year and all crafted by the Hop Concept, the same team of lifelong brewers behind Port Brewing Company. Um, it's that simple. Uh, honest hobby beers from people who know how to make them. Slow down now, inhale, and drink fresh. Um, now, as far as drinking fresh, do we have a date on here? Uh, I do not see one. Maybe once we get the beer out of this sucker, I will be able to get a better idea of dating on this. So. I uh, just hit my area, so hopefully it's fresher rather than later. But I'm not a date Nazi. A date Nazi. Date Nazi. How about a little dyslexia right there? Um, again, I just put it up front so you can see the label. It just makes so much sense. It's not even funny. Um, you know, as long as the beer is taken care of, it, it's really not that big of a as far as dating goes. You know, obviously, we all want the freshness we can get when we can get it, but at the same time, as long as it's not sitting in the trunk of a car, you know, and being refrigerated, and who gives a shit, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, two and a half fingers, creaminess personified. I mean, it's, you know, defying gravity, super compact bubbles, looks absolutely delicious. And color-wise, it's the haze, baby. It's that nice orange, yellow, tintish haze. You look for it, you covet in your nice, unfiltered, delicious IPA. So, yeah. Now, when they say brewed with uh, with lemon and zest, so um, you're expecting a bit of bittering there from the rind itself. Hopefully, you get a nice punch of um, a citrus sweetness from the hop presence too. I assume um, I'm gonna find out though. Let's see what this nose has. Very bright hop presence, not over the top, not really all that bittering in the nose. I'm actually getting a de decent malt base there. It almost smells like almost like a lemon grassy kind of lemon flowery note to it as opposed to it looks like a lemon rind. Uh, it definitely smells lemony. Um, so yeah, looking good so far. Yeah, nice and bright, nice and bright. You're going to say the same word 19 times, maybe uh, I'll come up with something different. But that's the vibe and get off. Nice brightness, nice freshness it smells like. So yeah, she looks cool. She smells pretty damn awesome. See what she uh, tastes like. Cheers. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, that lemon zest is 
up front. He's definitely a leader in the clubhouse. You get a nice malt base there, almost like a like a combination of um, you got two row caramel and honey malt. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bit of honey out of there. There's a little bit of a nutty malt going on, but it's nicely balanced with hop hop uh, profile. It's infinitely creamy. I mean, this head fighting through it and also getting into the beer, you're just getting like super creamy fluffiness out of it. Simple, to the point. Finish is a little bit dry, a little bit better, but not over the top. And uh, yeah, pretty damn pleasant, you know. I am a fan. Let's put it that way. And I'm not. I'm a little bit picky. As of late, I've been, been a little bit more open-minded on my uh, IPAs because so I'm doing a ton of them. Because I've been either just happen to be picking some up, or a bunch have been sent to me. So I'm getting a little bit of a in a groove, I guess you'd say, but, uh, yeah, not too shabby, I really do enjoy it, um, I wish it had a touch more sweetness, that's a personal preference for me, um, you know, especially with 8.5%, I thought I was going to have a little bit more of a bigger, sweeter malt body, but, uh, yeah, definitely something I like to share, I wouldn't want to drink a whole bomber to my head, because that bitterness for me, that's not huge, but it's a little bit too much to just kind of rifle through one whole one bottle by myself, but yeah, not too shabby, um, rating wise, I'm going to give it an 87, 87 overall, um, just really nice, well balanced, really well made. Just uh, think it could be tweaked a couple different ways to make it more, more better. Because that's proper English. Uh, at least more better for me. Um, and uh, yeah, value and availability. Uh, I paid I think seven or eight bucks for this. Uh, yeah, for that eighty-seven beer, seven eight bucks for a bomber. I'm gonna give it an eight on the value scale. Availability. I haven't seen it in my area. Really don't get it. Get a ton of port brewing, ton of Lost Abbey, but this is one of their newer things, smaller production, so you don't get to see a ton of it. Um, and it came out just to one of my local um, bottle shops yesterday, and uh, they're pretty much all gone now. So I'm going to give it availability. Again, your miles may vary depending on where you live, but i will give availability a three, only because I've seen it once and it went pretty fast. So there you go. What did I say? 87 overall? And um, okay, great value, okay availability, or poo-poo availability depending on where you live. And uh, just go, if you like what, will you like this? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. I always try to talk about a specific beer. How about that lacing, though? Um, and I'm kind of spacing on it. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's a different kind of citrus. It's um, citrus zest. It's not like a citra hop. Um, it's more um, a nice balance between a nice um, generic kind of earthy citrus hop and the malt base with that lemon rind in it that kind of adds that little bit of over the top citrus with a little bit of bittering so if those are the kind of notes you're into then you're definitely love this beer so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed the review uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between please leave a comment in the comment section below and like and subscribe and all that fun fun stuff if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet you can on facebook twitter instagram untapped massive beers in all four of those places and uh yeah another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying a nice um, yeah, this is citrus-based IPA right now, and uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.